I'm back in Rena's kitchen, and we've got a lot to taco about <laughs> this morning. See what I did there? We're making tacos. <laughs> Breakfast tacos. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, now tomorrow's Thanksgiving, so this is a perfect breakfast for day of the big feast, if you want, or for the weekend when everyone's home watching football games. Oh and yeah. Just hanging around the house getting over their turkey coma. Yeah, for right? sure. Well, so, I think breakfast tacos are good any day. They are, they are. So it, this is what we need to get started because there's a lot going on here. Okay. First of all, thank you for slicing the avocado. Oh, yeah, I got that. If you don't mind slicing a little bit of the green onion for garnish okay. and wedges of lime, okay. we're good. Okay. I went ahead and got started here and I did the shallots. And I have two shallots and olive oil. And you can see I made them kind of crispy. And I'm going to just lay them out here so that they can drain. Beautiful. All right. So we're going to use those. And then I'm going to turn off my heat for a second because I'm going to make a chipotle salsa. Okay. And this is one can of fire roasted tomatoes, the, just the regular size can. Okay. And you dumped it in there. I did. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some the chipotles and adobo. Ooh, it smells so good. Well, there's a little bit of heat to this. Yeah. You need about I'm already a, like sensing that in the air here. Yeah, about a quarter of a cup. So all of that goes in there. Okay. And put that to the side. And here I have about two tablespoons of toasted sesame seeds and a touch of salt. Okay. And all you want to do is process this in a food processor. Simple, okay? And we will transfer that to this bowl shortly. Okay. We'll just let that aside. All right. Give these eggs a good beating. Yeah. Not that we don't like our eggs, but we absolutely want them. And look how nicely they cook. And then egg, a little bit of salt. Okay. Don't need any pepper, and that's because of that. Oh, you're going to get your spice over there, yeah. Look at nice and fluffy. Here I have the pepper jack cheese on the hot egg dish. Oh my gosh, it's I, getting all melty. I am not going to put bacon okay. on yours, but folks, bacon goes on it if you want. And these are my garnishes, but the shallots are kind of essential oh, wow. here. Yeah. Okay. It's like a flavor bomb over yeah, there. Yeah, it really is. And then what you want to do is wow that avocado is just beautifully cut who did that I, you know, <laughs> i'm very impressed with your avocado skills now here that was the chipotle salsa okay. little avocado whoa it's so pretty how you do that this continues amazing and that's the green onion that Ooh. you chopped so beautifully a and little arugula a little bit of arugula Pressure's on, eating on television. And did I mention I put it on a flour tortilla? I don't know if I said that. That's what you start off with, a warm tortilla. Okay, let's get a little bit of everything in there. Mmm. How is that? It's amazing. Yeah, uh, it looks amazing. Good food. It looks amazing. I'm jealous Boaz has that gig now. I know. Do you think he's returning his Tupperware? <laughs> I don't know. Hope yeah. so. When you make sure return your Tupperware, Boaz. <laughs> for a copy of today's recipe, go to PittsburghTodayLive.com. We have it posted for you there.